Now there's no denying it. The update Lightroom got not so long back with the new masking section was a big deal. But with this kind of hidden button in Lightroom, I'm doing less and less in Photoshop. This changes everything. Now I never thought it would happen, but more and more I'm finding I can do edits in Lightroom that I never would have considered or been able to more to the point in the past. But when the new masking section was added, there became so many more possibilities. But there's something else, something you might have missed, and that's this kind of hidden button that appears when you hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows, and it's called Intersect. So what is it? Well, let's just say in this picture, I want to darken the sky a little to give it even more drama. I'll go to the masking section and then choose Select Sky. And straight away, Lightroom does a great job selecting the sky, which we can see by this red overlay. Now it's selected, I can make some adjustments. So I'll just bring down the exposure a little on this one. Now, yeah, it darkens the sky down, but to me, it kind of looks a bit fake. It looks unreal because it's the same kind of darkness in the top and the bottom. To make it look more realistic, I'd really want it to be darker at the top and then get brighter towards the bottom when it goes across that horizon line. That's exactly where Intersect comes in really handy. I'll hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows to bring it up and then click. Then I can choose a masking method. In this example, I'll choose linear gradient and click and drag down from the top. So you can see the gradient we're now creating, which is denser at the top than at the bottom. And this is how the darkening now looks, much more at the top than at the bottom. So it looks a lot more realistic. And of course, I can change the gradient if I want by clicking and dragging the controls. So what's happening here is, we're first of all selecting the sky and then darkening it and then using Intersect to add another mask so that we're kind of saying to Lightroom, I love what you've done, but I only want it to be visible where I put this second mask. Let's do it again on this image. In this one, I want to add a bit more punch, a bit more drama to the sky. So I'll come over to the masking section and choose Select Sky. Again, we see the red overlay showing us that Lightroom has successfully masked that area. I'll bring down the exposure a little, I'll use the Dehaze slider, which I love, and also the Clarity slider, and then add a touch more saturation. Now when I do this, although the sky so far is looking good, we can see that I'm getting a glow on the horizon line, like a halo, and that just doesn't look right, it looks fake. And like with the previous image, with that distant horizon line, I want that to be a little bit brighter than the top. And also in this one, where I've added a bit more clarity to the clouds, which is how they would be more defined in real life, kind of closer towards me, I want that to soften off towards the distance. So again, I'll use Intersect. So I'll hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and click. Again, I'll use a linear gradient. I'll then click and drag down from the top so this second mask is denser at the top than at the bottom as it fades out. And this is the result if we turn that intersect mask off and on. A much more pleasing look to the sky, and this is with all the masks off and on. Now though, let's take a look at using intersect on a portrait. Here's a picture I took of my friend Stephen Cook during daylight. In the original edit, which I did in Photoshop, I wanted to make it look as though it was a nighttime scene where there was a street light in the top left corner and then a cooler look inside the car and on the other side of Stephen. So here's how I did it in Photoshop, but then I'll show you a much easier and quicker way how I now would do it using Lightroom. So in Photoshop, I'll go to Layer, New Fill Layer, and Gradient, and I'll call this Lighting. Now I'll click to choose a gradient, so I'll look for the orange gradients, and I'll choose this third one along, and then I can click to change the colour of this pink to a cooler blue. Something like that will be fine. I'll then click OK, and then click OK again. Now I can change the direction of the gradient, but obviously I can't see the image underneath, so I'll then click OK, and in the Layers panel, I'll change the Layer Blend Mode to Soft Light. I can then double-click to open the gradient, 
and then click and drag on the picture with my move tool to reposition it. But I want a bit more control of this now. I want to be able to kind of have the light coming down from the top left hand corner and really control where that blue light is. And we can do that so easy using Intersect. I'll go to the masking section in Lightroom and choose Linear Gradient and increase the temperature. I'll then drag out a gradient from the top left and then down and across. I can of course change the settings on the fly too, so I'll add a bit more warmth to this light using the temperature slider. I'll then add another mask and another linear gradient, but this time I'll use the temperature slider to add some blue to make it much cooler. And I'll then drag across from the right hand side. Now I can use intersect. So I'll use a brush and then I can brush it in a mask so that the blue gradient appears where I want it to on Stephen and on the inside of the car. But I still keep the gradient effect in the areas that I brush it into. And this is with all the masks off and on. Way quicker and way less steps with way more control. Now let's try something else. So with this fungi, I want to make the underside of it brighter. And rather than having to be extra careful using just a brush, I can use Intersect to make it way easier. First of all, I'll come to the masking section and choose Select Subject. Then I'll go to the adjustments and just increase the exposure so that the entire fungi gets brighter. But here's where Intersect really helps. I'll hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and then click on Intersect and I'll choose a brush. I'll change the size of the brush and then very easily I can brush over the fungi in the areas that I want to reveal the brightening without spilling over. Intersect is restricting the brightening of the original mask to only appear where I'm brushing in this second mask. I can also change the settings on the fly and actually I'll just brush in some of the brightening down the front of the stem or stalk or whatever it's called, but I can do that really loosely without worry of spilling over. And here's before and after. So in this last example, which is on a portrait, I want to show you an effect that was only ever possible in Photoshop before, but now in Lightroom with Intersect, we can do it way quicker, way easier, have much more control, and I actually think looks better. So in Photoshop, what I want to do is increase the highlights either side of this male subject, and here's how I originally did it. First of all, I'll duplicate the image in the layer stack, and then go to Select and Subject, and then I'll add a layer mask. Then I'll go to the FX icon and choose Inner Glow. Here I can set the color of the glow or the light and then use the Opacity, Choke and Size sliders to finesse the look. When I'm happy, I'll then just click OK. Now obviously at the moment the effect is going all around him so we need to mask it out, but this is a layer effect. So to do this, I need to turn the layer effect into a regular layer. And I do that by right clicking on it and choosing Create Layer. That effect is now a layer at the top of the layer stack. So I'll add a black layer mask to this layer to hide the contents by holding down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and clicking on the layer mask icon. Then I'll use a brush at 100% opacity with a white foreground color and 0% hardness and brush the effect in. I can then use layer opacity to get it looking exactly how I want. Now that's quite a few steps there, but here's how we can do it in Lightroom way easier. I'll go to the masking section and choose Select Subject, and just like with the fungi, I'll use the exposure slider to brighten him up. Then I'll activate Intersect and choose a brush. And then I can simply use the brush around the subject where I want the brightening to appear without being extra careful, because this Intersect brush is only going to appear where the original mask selected the subject. I can then use the sliders to easily change the effect to add more or less brightening. And here's before and after. All of this made so incredibly easy with Intersect. Oh, and just so you know, it's not just hidden by holding down that Option or Alt key, you also find it in the masking section. 
So there you go, really powerful stuff that makes the masking in Lightroom, which was already good, just so much better, meaning that we jump in and out of Photoshop even less, which is just mind blowing. Now, before I go, there's one thing I want to let you know about, and that is that you can now get your free pass for the Lightroom Virtual Summit 2022. This is a week long event online with 15 instructors, 45 classes, and over 33 hours of Lightroom loving plus lots of bonus content too that we're all providing. I've added a link in the description where you can register and get your free pass. Anyway, I hope that's been useful. As always, just give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click on subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.